Okay, guys, so Fredo just dropped a song called Doing My Dance, and everyone was shocked when they heard Neek's name in one of his verses. Stop asking, I ain't fucking on Neek. Yeah. Got in that so he says, phone. Stop asking, I ain't effing on Neek. Now, on this post on Instagram, Neek actually did like it. She didn't say anything in the comments, but she seen the clip. He posted that on his Instagram, the clip of him saying that verse. And, you know, it was just the smile for me because the smile kind of said it all. It kind of seemed like, oh, yeah, I'm going to say this little verse, but I don't really mean it. That's what I got out of his facial expressions. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, so let's talk about this whole situation between Armand and Essie. Now, there were rumors of them rekindling things. They were, you know, getting kind of a little spicy on Twitter and Instagram, but it looks like everything went downhill from there because they are still having some issues in their relationship so i guess essie's birthday is coming up so she tweeted looks like i might be going on my birthday trip alone like always then she also explained that of course she is like we stated previously in other videos that you know she is suffering from postpartum depression and she feels like she lost herself now armand went on to twitter and he tweets i don't want to ever love again now this comes as a shocker because just a few weeks ago it seems like they were trying to work on things and rekindle their relationship so i got some information from an inside source now i don't want to say too much because i don't want to give up who that person is that actually told me this information but i am going to say this the reason that armand or one of the main reasons that armand and essie is going through all these issues is because essie Essie actually never wanted to live in Texas and she's so sick and tired of living there and she just wants to move and be back with her family and Callie. I'm going to give everyone a little backstory just in case you haven't been following the whole situation that went on between Armand and Essie. Now, they were not dating that long before they got pregnant. She was living in California. Armand was living in Atlanta. She was flying back and forth from Cali to Atlanta and then when she got pregnant, or even before, I believe, she moved to Atlanta. Now, after she had Baby Legacy, she wanted to move back to Cali, but Armand instead Armand and Trey both instead decided they were going to move back to Houston. Now, I can understand Essie wanting to be close to her family after you have a baby. I mean, babies are a lot of responsibility and you don't just trust anyone around your child. So she wanted to live near her mother and her family where she can have a better support system, which is totally understandable. But Armand actually seen this as her not appreciating everything that he's done for like he mentioned before, you can't make someone love you by giving them more of what they already don't appreciate. Now, by that, he moved her to Texas. They moved into a mansion, a seven bedroom home, and she's still unhappy. She wants to be back near her family. And if you guys did not know, Armand and Trey did live in L.A. before they moved to Houston the first time. And Armand does not want to move back to L.A. I mean, the real estate market there is crazy. It's crazy expensive the taxes are high and just they wouldn't be able to live the quality of the life that they're living in texas in la so what do you guys think about this do you think essie should appreciate what she has or do you think armand should just move to la so she can be closer to her family honestly i can see both sides of it but me i would just move my family down to texas i mean you guys have a seven bedroom house and the houses are so cheap there they could even rent them out of house somewhere else if they don't want them living in their home because at this point armand feels like that she's not being supportive i mean when you have a guy in the entertainment industry or sports or whatever like that you know that you could possibly have to move away from your family because they may have to be in different places but again i want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below now let's get on this topic with joelle and lauren so we know lauren recently blasted joelle for cheating on her with all these groupies from these gold digger pranks she moved out of the house and basically started doing her own thing and it looks like that she started dating again as well well joelle has tried to slide his way back into her life he went 
underneath one of her YouTube videos and he posted, I low key miss you. So it looks like Joel is trying to get his girl back. What do you guys think about this? Of course, I want to know down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Lauren is going to take him back? Do you think that she had enough this time? And she's like, you know, I'm going to ride this out. I'm going to date. I'm going to do what I need to do for myself and my kids. Or is she going to go back to Joel and that whole toxic relationship? I want to know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below. <laughs>